Hey guys, just a quick vid to show you how to align the front end of your dirt bike. Now it is very important that your rear end is also accurately aligned. I don't have a video on how to do that, but most people will know. You just check your axle blocks, check the markers, make sure they line up on both sides. It's the easiest way to do it. There's heaps of different ways, but hey, that's what uh, it's good enough for Yamaha, good enough for me. Anyway, onto the front end. So you do your front end can tweak in an accident or in a drop or something like that. So say you're riding along and you know, you're know cruising along, bah, bah. then you have a bit of a drop, bang, your bike goes across, your front wheel, you're like, oh yeah, everything looks good, still, you know, my, mine's okay, but you do wanna make sure that it is true. Anyway, what can happen is your forks can twist and kinda of get a bit kinked, I guess, so to speak, instead of being slightly straight, they might be a little bit out like that. You, you can't tell by the naked eye is my point. Um, unless it's really bad, like, you know, you give your bike a good look over, make sure it's true, just eyeball it. But to fix this, you'll notice it because your bike will handle a little bit funny. And if you haven't done it in a while, I suggest doing it anyway because as you ride in the bush, you go through rocks and bumps and all sorts of things they can throw at your front wheel alignment. So what you do is you find your triple clamp. Triple clamp is here. Okay, top part, bottom part, easy. Now you want to loosen the bottom part of your triple clamp. I do both sides, both of them. Then you want to come down to your front wheel. Now take note of which side your brake is on. Mine's on this side. Leave these alone. Come down here, loosen these two pinch bolts. Now what you'll find is if you've got everything on the stand like I have, you loosen these, this fork will have the, like a little bit of play like that. And that is enough to sort of kink up your fork and make the bike kind of handle like rubbish and you'll feel a difference if it's, if it's quite a bit out. So anyway, you've loosened all these up. Now what you can do if the bike's on a stand and you wanna be lazy, spin your wheel, right? While you've, while you've started spinning that really hard, come on here, grab your front brake and your, your wheel will kink and this will move and set itself in its natural position. Now, if you want to be a bit more thorough, what you can do is you take your bike off your stand, you come here, put on your front brake, bounce the front forks nice and hard, up and down a few times, and then tighten up all your bolts. All right, so you remember you got your one and two, and then your third one down there. And that should be it. And you should be good to go. Then your, your front end should be back to normal, back to its natural position. That's all you're trying to do, get it to rest in its natural spot. Um, and that's it. You A dead giveaway, if it needs to be done, is normally when you're loosening these, they're not overly tight. I can't remember the exact torque spec for the WR250Fs, but off the top of my head, I want to say about 20 newton meters. You know, give or take a little bit. So they should be about 20 newton meters, which is not super tight. And... If you're coming here and you're, you know, you're, you're, t you're loosening it and you hear a bit of a crack, that's normally a good sign that your fork has got out of that tightened position and started to go in that relaxed position, which is what you want. You know, you'll increase the life of your fork and the bike will handle better, which is the whole idea. So that's how I realign my front end. I do recommend doing it. Like I said, pretty much any time you take off your front wheel, you do have to do this because once the front wheel's off, Everything's going to be out of out of position. That that fork is going to move. And yeah, make sure you do tighten everything up to spec. Like I said, they're about 20 newton meters on a on a WR. Check the check your owner's manual. Could be wrong. Just going off the top of my head. But um, yeah, enjoy, guys.